All right, so as we take a look here at number 34 and 35, uh, 34, again, just like 33, we're going to be using, as you can see, uh, substitution. So let's go ahead and rewrite what we were given. So we have 8 times quantity m minus, oops, m minus p squared minus 6 times quantity m minus p minus 9. And so again, when you see that in the place of your single variable, you have a quantity, so something in parentheses, go ahead and use substitution. And what you're going to do is choose some letter, usually we use U, but you can really choose anything you want, to represent this quantity. And so in this case, we're going to say U equals M minus P, this quantity. So let's go ahead and rewrite our trinomial, except anywhere we see this M minus P quantity, we're going to instead substitute a U in. So we have 8 and now U squared minus 6 U minus 9. And now we have a trinomial that looks just like uh, some of the other ones we've been dealing with earlier on in the review series. Uh, we have, let's see, is there a GCF? No, I don't see a GCF. So we can go ahead and move on to question number two. How many terms are there? Well, there are three terms, so that tells us we can either use the scissors method or the AC method or trial and error. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let's use the scissors method, tried and true. So we're looking for factors of 8, factors of 9. So we have 1 and 8, 2 and 4, and then our factors of 9, 1 and 9, 3 and 3. And we're going to start with the factors that are closest together. About 9 times out of 10, those are going to give you, in some combination, the factors you're looking for. So let's go ahead and stack. We have 2 and 4 from 8, and 3 and 3 from 9. And normally this is where we would flip this second set, right? But if we flip 3 and 3, we end up with 3 and 3 again. So there's really no sense in us flipping. Uh, the 3 and 3. So we have 2 times 3, well that's going to give us 6. 4 times 3, that gives us 12. Can we, in some combination, subtract 12 and 6 to get a negative 6? And the reason we're looking to subtract is because this last sign here is a minus. So can we subtract a 6 and a 12, or a 12 and a 6 to get minus 6? Yeah, we sure can. Well, what do the signs of each of our cross products have to be in order to get a negative 6? Well, if we put a plus in front of our 6 and a minus in front of our 12, positive 6 minus 12 gives us negative 6. And hopefully by now we know that whatever sign we put with the cross product just bounces over. Whatever sign we put with the cross product bounces over. And now we can go ahead and put parentheses around our factors. And now we're going to have 2u minus 3. So 2u minus 3. And here we're going to come up with, let's see, 4u plus 3. 4u plus 3. And now you might be tempted to say, oh, I'm done. But be careful, right? Because we said that u represents a quantity, right? U equals M minus P. So we have to go back through and uh, replace our U with the quantity that U represents. And so what we're going to have is 2, and now replacing U with M minus P minus 3. And our second factor was 4U plus 3, but now we're going to replace the U with our M minus P plus 3. And now let's go ahead and clean this up so we can distribute the 2 through. We're going to distribute our 4 through. And when we do that, we're going to end up with 2m minus 2p minus 3. And here we're going to end up with 4 times m is 4m. 4 times negative p, negative 4p plus 3. And there you have the factored form for number 34. Alright, let's take a look here at 35. We are given 
8y to the fourth minus 6y squared minus 9. All right, well, how about, let's start where we normally start, right? Like we're going to ask ourselves, is there a GCF? And nope, I don't see a GCF here. So we know that we're going to be using uh, one of the other methods to factor, right? Because we have one, two, three terms. So three terms tells us either scissors or AC method, trial uh, and error method. So let's go ahead and we're looking for factors of eight and factors of nine. And if you feel like this problem is familiar to you, um, you're not going crazy. Take a look at number 34. We had eight, eight, minus, minus, six, six, minus nine, minus nine. So the only difference here, uh, instead of a quantity squared and a single quantity here, now we're dealing with y to the fourth and y squared. So all of our factors and numbers are gonna be the same here, aren't they? So one and eight, two and four, one and nine, three and three. So let's go ahead, start with the ones closest together. So two and four, three and three. And when we cross multiply, two times three gives us six. Four times three gives us 12. Can we, in some combination, subtract 12 and six or six and 12 to get a minus six? Sure can, right? We proved that over here. If we make our six positive and our 12 negative, we can go and uh, we end up with a negative six. So let's go ahead and take that minus sign, bounce it over, take this plus sign, bounce it over. We'll go ahead and wrap those uh, factors in parentheses. And so now we have two and we're working with the y variable, but be careful here because normally we are dealing with just a squared term here, right? Normally it, it's 8y squared minus 6y minus 9, but be careful because now we're dealing with the power of 4 as our leading term. So instead of just splitting up uh, a square here, now we're splitting up a fourth power. So instead of a single y here, now we're going to have y squared. And then minus 3, minus 3, and now we're going to have 4, y squared plus 3, and there you have it, the factored form of number 35. All right, so we uh, are, I think this is the end of the trinomial section, and it looks like it is. So we are going to get into uh, now just factoring polynomials. So we're going to get into some difference of perfect squares and cubes and a couple other things that are are going to be challenging, but I think you'll like this section, right? The the harder these get, sometimes they're they're a lot more fun because they're more puzzle, right? More of a riddle. So I will see you in the next section. Thanks for watching.